came all the way through. Here we are standing with my sister Fawn in her beautiful hat. And she's all the way from Washington State also, came all the way to Washington, D.C. So we started off with a little bit of rain on us today. I know, about snow. Yeah, a little snow, but it was good. It was good. We got rinsed off, washed off, blessed by Creator, who uh, uh, is with us here today. And this was born out of prayer. And so we're glad that we all met in prayer and all the Native nations coming together. So, Fawn, I'd like for you to just tell everybody who you are and where you're from. Yes, uh, my name is Fawn Sharp. I'm president of the Quinault Indian Nation. I also serve as president of the Affiliate Tribes and Northwest Indians and vice president of the National Congress of American Indians. Awesome. And so you're here. Did you go to Standing Rock? I did. I camped in Standing Rock the night of December 4th. So December 5th at midnight, I was camped out in the weather. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cold there, yes. Yes, and I, I felt uh, I was spiritually lit at that time to go. I, I was at Quinault and was on a jog and I walked back to the house and told my mom, I said, I'm supposed to go to Sneeding Rock. And, and as it turns out, uh, December 5th is uh, Joe Delacruz Day, who is our president at Quinault. And so it was a national holiday at home and our offices were closed. So I think that would be the perfect time to go. And a delegation of six, including five elected officials, went. And it was our goal and objective to uh, have a sunrise prayer and offer some blessings and gifts to the Standing Rock people. So at daybreak on December 5th, we were there. Uh, and it was only after we kind of put that plan in motion, we learned of the eviction notice on December 5th that, that just strengthened our resolve. And so as we came into camp, news broke that the court denied uh, the easement. And that's how we entered the camp. So it was quite a, a spiritual journey. Yes, and I know that there are going to be some issues coming up in Puget Sound. I know that the, a lot of the oil tankers that are going to be coming in there, uh, more and more there's going to be more oil tankers that is going to be going right through the fishing. Yes. Fishing. Uh, can you tell us about that? Yes. Uh, Quinault has been, for the last four years, we've been working to keep crude oil out of Grace Harbor uh, in our ancestral territory. We occupy 31 miles of international border right on the Pacific Ocean. And so there were three companies that were seeking to build storage tanks for crude oil and transport right through our ancestral territory. And so uh, we just learned this last uh, month that the third company may not pursue that crude. So the first company with the lease expired, the second company was acquired, uh, and they've expressed their intent to not transport crude oil. And it looks like the third company, after we won a case in the Washington Supreme Court uh, that argued and the court ruled that the Ocean Resource Management Act does apply to crude projects. And so now the third company likely will not be able to overcome that threshold and they've expressed their intent to not pursue crude oil. So after four long years, we fought to keep crude oil out of uh, Grace Harbor. And in our fight, uh, the tribes in the Puget Sound area, the Lummies, the Swinomish, have also, and now Puella, have been fighting uh, to keep fossil fuels out of the Pacific Northwest. And so we formed some incredible alliances uh, with uh, all the tribal nations in the Pacific Northwest, as well as uh, the non-Indian communities. We had so many people come out and support us because they understand that uh, fossil fuels just aren't in our best interest. And if we want a, a future that's healthy and an environment that's clean, we have to stand together. That's right. And uh, Indigenous Rising Media, they're an arm from uh, Indigenous Environmental Network. And I understand that Lummi and some of the other Northwest Pacific tribes are going to be hosting a Protecting Mother Earth conference coming up in September. Do you That's know anything right. about that? Yes, absolutely. Are you going to be a part of that? Uh, I hope to plan. I'm planning on being there. Uh, I haven't heard what the dates are exactly, uh, but uh, Quinault will definitely be there. We've been a longtime ally and supporter of the Lummi Nation. Very nice. And so they're all going to be coming together. I know that we're going to try to get a lot of the speakers who are here because all of this, as, as Native nations come together and unite, and all because we're all facing the same issues here. Yes. They're trying to extract from our lands. And so as Indian nations come together, do you feel like we're finally getting a voice and, and as we strengthen, it's getting better for us? Yes, uh, absolutely. You can see uh, through, the, through the ages, uh, when tribes have been able to make significant advancements, it's only been after direct political action. Uh, it, and it seems like our generation is faced with that harsh reality of uh, we need to have a new and redefined relationship with the United States. Fighting, as I said in my remarks on the battlefield, isn't working. Fighting as adversaries in a court system isn't working for the United States because time and time again our treaties are upheld. So the time has come for the United States to acknowledge 
wanted to recognize the political equality that we have. When we sit down and negotiate with the United States, they do not have the authority to take unilateral action over our objections when it comes to our land, territory, and resources. The treaties ensure and protect those rights that our ancestors have paid, paid dearly. Uh, and we continue to uphold that tradition and uh, as we restore, we become stronger. As we become stronger, we become more united. And as we become united, we become undefeatable and unconquerable. Very nice. All right, my sister Fawn, big leader in Indian country, and we're happy to visit with you. We're going to continue speaking up. Native yes. Nations Rise, That's right. 2017, Washington, D.C. We're so 